Tunes, rich, famous, all fun. Never have to take a dump until life dumps on them. Until the ink fades. Tonight, where are the tunes now? Draws a bead on Archie and friends. Riverdale's finest. All American high school heaven. Hot dogs, prom dances, girls fighting over boys, high school heaven. It all seemed to fit like the honkers in Betty's bra. But there was silicone in those sweaters. Something just wasn't right. Heaven is the Murgatroyd. Be serious, please. They were screaming to get out. But no poofters allowed back then. No poofting. Buddies, yes. But buddies, exit. Stage left, even. Yeah, I know that it was funny. Not ha-ha funny, but funny in the pants department funny. Oh, I tried everything. It's demeaning to make a guy to give him a blowjob and then get turned down. Know what I mean? Both of them. Girls gotta have some pride. Broke my heart. Really did. Hey, can I have that other drink now? Yes. While America pondered which of its classic all-American boys, Archie and Jughead, would wind up with which of its all-American girls, Veronica and Betty. The answer turned out to be neither, and both. Archie and Jughead wound up with each other. Well, it became quite clear, and a confusion over which girl to be with clearly stemmed from her sexual misorientation. Actually, we realized it quite early on. Aye, we couldn't tell us all. Not a soul, especially my mother. Don't start. Don't get me started. It was horrifically confusing as teenagers. There was no one coming out of the closet then, darling. There just wasn't, and with the show and all, who could we tell? It was really so lonely, and I just wanted to be loved. Was that so wrong? At least we had each other. Yes, we did, sweetie, yes, we did. And you know what? We, we still do. do. At least, no one knew back then. I knew. We all knew they was fags. That's why I beat the crap out of them all the time. I tell you, I would have blackmailed the little fudgebackers, but I was doing Betty and Veronica six ways to Sunday in the janitor's closet. They were so, uh, uh, what do you call it, da, 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 frustrated with the fags, they couldn't get enough. So I didn't give a shit. Except when I caught them perverts checking out my package in the showers. Then I'd just beat the crap out of them, steal their watches, do the babes doggy style, and whammo! I felt good about the whole thing! Well, we do miss the girls, but they just couldn't respect your decision as homosexuals to come out. But we know they still love us. Is he dead yet? For crying out loud, I'm paying the damn probate attorneys $500 an hour just to wait outside! Pull the damn plug already! I hate the little pussy ponies. Ruined my self-esteem in high school. Got so bad I stooped goose or moose or whatever his name was. The harpies still flitters up. Give him some crack! That'll do the trick! Turned me off men. Well, <laughs> at least men under 80 years and 80 mil. Number four and counting. Didn't turn out so bad. Hello? The funeral starts at four! I sent out the announcements already! Work with me, people! Somewhere in their hearts, they still love us. And we send them flowers from a shop every spring to celebrate homecoming. Oh, homecoming out? <laughs> You're just so silly. Give me a kiss, you. No tongues, morning breath. Come here, you super slut, you. I just want to be loved. Is that so wrong? No. Doomed tunes, happy homos. Dumped on drug addicts. Sex-starved cartoon queens. These are their stories. This has been... Where are the tunes now?